Hi everyone, it's Amy and today I am going to be organizing my K-pop binders. So this is going to be the first one and after this there's five more so this is probably going to be a pretty long uh, video. We have a lot of cards to get through. I had a ton pile up and I didn't pre-film any clips or anything. We're just going to be doing this straight through. <laughs> so I have my TXT and then Hypen binder all ready to go right here. And the first section is uh, TXT. And I actually ordered new binders because I would really like to split up my TXT and then Hypen uh, photo cards. It's just getting really full now but um, I have to return them. They actually uh, have a bit of a defect. So unfortunately, I have to return four binders to Staples, <laughs> which kind of sucks. I already ordered some new ones from Amazon, so hopefully those are going to be better and more well-suited for my needs. But anyways, so let's see. We are gonna start out, like I said, with TXT. I really don't have a ton, mainly. I just have these like MOA Campus uh, ID cards and then their Shine Together mini photo cards. Let's go to Subin's uh, Shine Together cards. And I have not all of them yet, I think. Um, I might actually have one more coming in the mail today, but by the time I'm done uh, filming this, it uh, will probably be here. <laughs> so I think, um, let's actually, we just have these two. So I have Subin's three out of eight mini PC. I'm so excited for Freeze. Um, yeah, I am just, Oh my gosh, I already filmed a binder setup video, so if you'd like to check that out, I will leave a link to it. So, okay, that was number six out of eight, so I'm just missing number one, which like I said, is on the way. Okay, now we've got Yeonjun's. So let me separate out these unit cards. That's gonna be on another page. Okay, so we've got Yeonjun two out of eight. Take these fillers out and then uh, number five and number six so yeah I did a lot of trading I think all in all I only ended up having to buy two that I was missing between Subin and Yeonjun the rest I ended up trading or I pulled myself, so um, I got very, very lucky in that regard. But I'll leave the names of everybody that I traded or bought from uh, down below in case you would ever like to check out their accounts because a lot of them are specifically, uh, you know, like trade accounts. So, okay, we've got uh, Yeonjun and Subin units as well. This is with Bamgyu and Taeyeon, and I actually don't even think I have these in any particular order. <laughs> Um, and then I've got the one with Hyunin Kai and Yeonjun. So, yeah. Starting to fill out. Looks good. Okay, and then I have these MOA Campus ID cards. And they're actually really thick. They're plastic. They feel like credit cards. So, let's see. I think I normally like to put Subin in the middle. And then Yeonjun up here. Is this how I want to do it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, bomb Q. And Kai will go down here. Ah, oh, these new pockets just do not want to open. Come on. And then Taeyeon. Like that. Okay, I don't know if this page looks good or not because I am not a fan <laughs> of really bulky cards. So, you know, it is what it is, but I kind of like them as a set, so I'm going to keep it that way. All right, now moving into the in hyphen section. So I collect Jake. I think I have the first pre-order, the Yijiu from Border Day 1. I joined a go for this, I think, back when they debuted. Um, it's just taken a while for me to 
um, request the seller to forward it to me. So there's that. And then finally, we're going to put in some of the carnival photo cards. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of rearranging and it's all because of this cursed horizontal card. So <laughs> I am actually going to end up having to do the down lenticular in the middle instead of hype. So we're just going to basically flip flop hype and down. So let's see. Down lenticular. And then the hype lenticular. I know I have up here somewhere. There it is. And then I'll go ahead and do the selfies up here and then the concept so this will be for down the down column and let's see I think I have everything for hype yes I have his hype photo card or selfie and then the uh wait a second did I did I switch these up? I did. My bad, my bad. This is for a uh, hype. I get them both confused because he's wearing a black jacket in both of these. So there we go. Now that looks a little bit better. And then I have his selfie for the up version. And that means the concept photo is actually on the way. I did a trade. So that should be here really soon. And then this will be complete. Oh my gosh, this is like the quickest I have ever actually completed one member's entire set. So let's pray that this one gets here soon. But yeah, um, now let's see. Lucky draws, what am I gonna do about that? <laughs> I actually might need to add a separate page for his lucky draws because I don't think I made Hmm. No, I didn't make a page for that yet, but you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I have these right here from the end connect and the deco package. So let's just do that one first. Let's see. I have Heesung Polaroid that my friend Melanie sent me. So cute little Polaroid page is complete. And then I have, uh, like I said, the deco package. And I think I was just gonna put him, yeah, in with the others. See how the backs uh, match? So even though the fronts like literally don't match at all, but at the same time, it would be nice to fill in um, <laughs> more of this page. So there's that. Okay, now let me grab um, another page to put in the lucky draws. Okay, so I know <laughs> in a few videos ago, I think it was probably during my carnival setup video, I was, you know, being really stubborn and being like, I'm not gonna collect any of their lucky draws. I am so overwhelmed and <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn to bite my tongue and just not say that stuff anymore. Because, you know, I ended up um, at least ordering the Soundwave ones on my own from Coco Dive. And then I ended up finding really good deals. Uh, my friend Sophie um, was selling the ones for M2U. And then I ended up finding another seller who had the Power Station ones. So, and again, the prices were really good, especially because I know that these are going to end up going for more in the future. Oh gosh, this just like totally slid out. So I just decided to go for it. And then that way my lucky draw collection so far, <laughs> I should say so far, um, is going to be complete. So yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with that, honestly. Like I'm actually kind of glad that I did what I did. So we will have, let's see here. Um, I'll just kind of put the purple ones in as a filler to remind me that we have those two from M2U coming and then two from Power Station. So 
So that's it for this binder. <laughs> we have a lot more to get through. All right, so this is the uh, Victon and Treasure binder. And we have a decent amount of Victon to put away. Um, I'm gonna start out with Chan's Ready photo card. And I actually um, have a lot of stuff to be putting away in my mini binders. I'm just doing them at the end because it's mostly going to be Astro. And yeah, I just <laughs> needed a lot of time to get all of that put away. Uh, I have Chan's identity card as well. And I love the backs of these. They're just so pretty. So there's that. And then I have Subin's from a Ficton card, like that. Okay, and that's it for their older albums. Now I'll be able to get into Voice the Futures now. Oh, actually, no, I have uh, Subin's continuous light version. Staring at me right in the face. <laughs> there it is, so I just need Sengshik's cards and oh, we will be almost done with continuous era, so that's exciting. Okay, now we are in Voice of the Future is now. So mainly I think I just have Subins to fill in. I am having a hard time finding that last Sungchik one. And I'm actually missing one more Subin as well. The one where he has his hands kind of up like this, doing like little, I don't know, bear paws, whatever. <laughs> it does not exist. I've seen maybe one person sell it and it was in Europe and I didn't want to do um, a European, you know, sale, so. Anyways, yeah, I'm just, I don't know how I'm going to find it, but anyways, okay, so with this, I've been kind of following a color-coded back scheme, so purple will be up here, I think that's right, and then the next one will be black, like that, and then this one is gold gold back one. I love this one because he's holding a little flower. Okay. And then the Chan unit. So I don't normally collect units, but this one has Chan in it with Sungu. So we will uh, put them down here. Okay. So that's completed. And then I've got both Make Star 2 cozy <laughs> sets. So we've got Sunu up here, they're cute fuzzy hats, and this is like my absolute favorite Seijun card, the one of him in the mint fuzzy outfit, oh, it's just so nice. So this page is finally completed and it feels so, so nice. Okay, let's see, now uh, I've got um, a lot of Chan pre-orders, so I decided kind of moving forward, I'm probably going to focus the most on Chan's pre-order cards and some of Subin's as well, but mostly Chan. Um, so I've got his Jo-un, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, um, got his Jo-un card, as well as his Music Korea. If I don't label these, I will literally not know what I'm doing. And then I have his DMC card, which I think I decided I'm actually going to put over here. It's just, I know, this whole row is just all weird. I've got a random Byungchan holo card here. I mean, I know it's kind of like a mess. Um, but then I have his Miwadang as well, which is going to go here in the middle. And I kind of liked having this. Well, should I swap these two? I think I'm going to swap these two. Yeah, this is the Apple Music Korea, but I think I'm going to put it in the middle because he's wearing a different outfit. And then he's wearing, this is literally from the same couch that he's sitting on in the same outfit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, God, I could even go a bit further and move these two and then move that. You know, we'll do that another time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm starting to spiral here. Okay, now we've got Subin's page, pretty much a mirror effect of uh, the previous one. We have his uh, K-Town for you cards, both the first and the second one. So, 
do these. Then I have his Apple Music, which looks like that. Then I have his Joon card, which looks like that. They have really cute backs. I like the, I don't know. I actually don't really know what design that is. <laughs> then I have his Beat Road, which has a nice back as well. Okay, so that's all I got uh, for Subin today. Now I have a Sincha card, actually. I have his first Alice uh, fan club. I love the backs of these. It's really cute. And then the uh, Subin uh, class card, and it actually is double-sided, but I like the side with the signature to be on the front. Okay, I have Chan's first concert, New World. There we go. <laughs> it came a little bit damaged up here from Neokyo, um, but I mean, probably not like Neokyo's fault. I think it was actually the seller who didn't properly package it initially. Okay, and then finally, I've got uh, these two. It's the Welcome to Wonderland cards. I love these so, so much. It just makes me so happy that, you know, I've, I've talked about this before, but it just makes me so happy that their fandom name are, you know, Alice's, and they always like to theme things, even in a subtle way sometimes. Sometimes not so subtly, but sometimes subtly, uh, you know, theme it after Alice in Wonderland, and I love that so much. All right, <laughs> so that is it for the victim section. And while we're here in the same binder, we're gonna go over to treasure. And I know I have been like totally neglecting my treasure <laughs> collection for quite a long time. So a lot of things really got put on the back burner, so I really want to focus more on it, especially because by June, they're probably going to have another comeback, right? Is that what we're thinking? Or no? I mean, oh, I don't even know, but <laughs> um, I actually have Mashio. Where am I going? Why am I flipping all the way over there? I need to go all the way out to chapter one. So uh, I have Mashio's Let's see, chapter one, this is the black concept. So let's see, I think, yes, this one. And then I have the white concept as well. So it's gonna be this one. Okay. I actually have two of his Japanese cards and I, I don't know, moving forward, I probably won't collect the rest of them or for any of the other members, honestly. So I really don't know how I wanna do this. Oh wait, actually, I remember now. I decided I'm gonna put uh, both of them up here. So yeah, one of them is actually hollow and just really cute, and that was why I decided to get it. So the back's gonna look like that. This is sort of like a QR code uh, type coupon. <laughs> um, it came as a set with this, so. That was why um, I was like, well, okay, that looks good. It's a good price. And I'll put both of them up here along with um, <laughs> these K-Town free pre-order benefits. All right, so that's it for this binder. All right, we have the boys next. And uh, we don't have too many, but I do have this unit card over here that you see, and it's going right here for the sphere. It's Eric and Sonu's uh, unit card. So, beautiful, yay! Um, this Kevin card though, like every time in my brain I keep thinking, oh, I already have it or it's on the way and it's totally not. I, I do not own this card, <laughs> so we need to work on that. But actually my next priority has been mainly wanting to focus on reveal. I feel like that was one of my favorite um, concept and eras that they had, and I've been really slacking on it. So I've been uh, working on filling in um, some of their photo cards and especially their film strips. I have quite a few of these on the way already, so I'm making some progress. But anyways, now I need to get over to, uh, let's see. Actually, this is where I need to stop. Uh, this is uh, Breaking Dawn. So we have a Yongun 
Breaking Dawn card. Breaking Dawn is their Japanese release. So I'll put him in there. And then uh, I think I have both of Eric's. So we have version A. Whoops, I actually forgot that the stickers are on the back. So let's see if I can do this <laughs> with one hand. There we go. Okay. Then his version C. Kevin's, I think I have one on the way, part of a go that I joined. Okay, so here are the stickers, and the stickers are just so thin and flimsy, and the backs are ugly, so I just decided to go ahead and um, just put them on the backs like this. So this is how we're going to do this one, like so for Youngun. And then I have Eric's, which will go back here. Yes, and then um, the last Eric. So I still, like I said, need to work on Kevin. And then I'm breaking Dawn. <laughs> we'll finally be all caught up. Okay, so finally, um, I carved out some space back here for some of the, like, um, not season's greetings. Is it season's greetings? No, it's the uh, fan club fan club cards and I decided just to put uh, Eric and Youngmoon together on this page just like in a four uh, configuration. So I'm just going to do it like this. Like that. I like that they're pastels so they're going to go together and the backs are really cute too. And then since this is you know, a darker concept. I decided just to go ahead and split them up onto their own separate pages. Like that. I love Youngins too. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Okay. So that's it for uh, the boys. All right, so here's the pink binder. If you've seen it before, you'll know it's my twice binder. However, because it is getting so full, I am going to, need to split it up. And I'm probably gonna get them uh, white binders. Well, not going to, I actually already ordered them. So they will be split up into white binders and looking a little bit neater and cleaner. And then hopefully things will look a lot less bulky as you know things start to fill out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. So I need to go over to Fancy. And um, my friend was so kind. Um, Ari, if you're watching this, hello. <laughs> um, she was so kind and reached out to me and wanted to gift me some photo cards. So I am speechless that um, she decided to do this. I was like, no, please let me pay for these. Um, in the end, like, she settled on at least letting me pay for shipping um, because, like, I just, you know, like, just everyone's generosity is just, like, uh, I, I'm so, so thankful and, um, you know, I'm just so glad to have met, like, so many amazing people ever since starting this channel. Um, but, yeah, so she sent me Diane and Chewie's uh, cards, the ones that I'm holding up there, you know, letter, the fancy letter. Um, so yeah, we have that. And then she also surprised me with the gold um, ticket cards, you know, the gold cards for Feel Special. And initially I wasn't even going to collect them, but seeing them in person just, oh my gosh, like just made me have a change of heart obviously <laughs> so I actually think I want to just put them like right here in the middle I think they are so beautiful and um they'll just give me good memories you know of uh receiving these as a gift so yeah uh, Chewy's card I, I realized I put this in really quickly and you may have not seen it but Chewy's card is probably one of my most favorite cards of hers in this concept um, I really need to start working on my Feel Special collection because um, it is very lacking, but that's okay. Um, I've just been really trying to take my time, obviously, you know, with Twice, and then obviously Taste of Love, you know, that's um, 
coming out really soon too and I'm really excited for that. I already pre-ordered a set and uh, there's five photo cards I think per member this time. So yeah, um, that's really, really nice too. Okay then, we are going into... Eyes wide open. <laughs> like my brain just like went blank. Okay, so I actually bought these um, from um, a really lovely person on Instagram. And uh, this is going to go into my OT9 set for this one. So that looks good. We've got Sana. And then I just have this one of uh, Diane. And I think I'm just going to put her right here. Okay, that's it for that. So the next time you see my Twice collection, they are going to be split up and put into new binders. Okay, so I just had to do a battery change just in time for the mini binder portion of this video. And this is my three ring mini binder that I just basically use as my multi group. Uh, basically, I don't collect fully for uh, the artists that I put in here. But yeah, um, they're just basically, you know, cards that I would still like to hold on to. So this is basically um, my Yenon cards from Pentagon. And uh, I have his romantic and sporty and mild cards here today. So let's, yeah, put them in. And if you're wondering, um, I made a full video on how I set up this binder. So I can uh, link to that if you're curious. But yes, I did take a nine pocket and I trimmed it down and then I had to repunch some holes and that's how I got it to fit uh, in here. But okay, that is actually <laughs> all I have uh, for the mini binder, but I do have a lot of his pre-order benefits um, that should be coming hopefully soon. Okay, so this is the last binder that we need to do today. And uh, this is my binder uh, that's by Beyond It is a six ring binder. And I did another separate video regarding all the materials that I use, where I bought everything and links to everything. So definitely uh, check that out if you have any questions. But um, I did end up receiving a freebie of MJ. So if you remember, I actually used one of his actual album cards that I put here and then I ended up swapping it out when I got a freebie so that was really exciting because they're obviously from Gateway from the same uh, photo shoot uh, so yeah um, and then I got this charm uh, keychain from the Rise Up exhibition and I just really wanted to put it in here so yeah um, we'll set that aside obviously for now oh my gosh guys we have so many of their cards let me just kind of start chipping away at this. All right, so this is basically my Astro collection. The bulk of it is MJ because he is my bias. However, I do also bias uh, Uno and Bin. I'm also going to be very slowly chipping away at trying to collect both of them as well. So you will see some of their cards today kind of sprinkled throughout, but for the most part, it's gonna be MJ. So I have his spring up card and uh, it's just gonna go right up here. Like that. And then I have one of his summer vibes cards, which I decided to just put here. He's just gonna share a page with um, spring up. And then this one will be coming from uh, Neokyo. So that'll be in a future video. Actually, should I zoom in a little bit? Maybe I should zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully that's a little bit better. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. But okay, this is like my secret UNU page. <laughs> so we will just sort of skip through that. And we are in um, Autumn Story. So I have both of these from the red version. But yeah, if you are curious, I do have to use smaller sleeves. These are still by Dragon Shield, but they're called the Japanese size. So they're smaller and they fit in these pockets. The pockets are also by Beyond D. And um, I ordered the binder and the pockets from mochithings.com. However, um, you can probably find them for cheaper um, if you join a go 
or um, check out an Etsy shop called uh, Duru Naru, I think that's the name of it. But okay, this page is completed so far. Um, the last one that I need from Autumn Story has already been bought from Mercari, Japan on Miyokio. Now we have Winter Dream. Both of those cards are here. And I love these. I think these are so cute. And yeah, I uh, think I have one for Bin as well. So we're gonna put MJ's up here. And then I actually have one of his clear cards from Dream Part 1. So I just sort of wanted to put the clear cards here just because, I don't know, it's just to basically fill in the empty space like that. So yeah. And like I said, I have also been slowly collecting some of Ben's cards. So right here I have, let's see, his Winter Dream and one of the uh, Dream Part 1 cards. For now, I'm just going to have them both share a page right here. And then obviously, you know, we'll start to split things up um, as time goes on. But we'll just sort of do this and kind of like that. <laughs> I know this is just so wonky right now. I think eventually if I ever get lucky enough to accumulate more of Bin and Uno's cards, I might split them out of this binder and have them in their own separate mini binder. Uh, let me move this box too. I feel like my camera keeps wanting to try to focus on it as well. Okay, so now we have Dream Part 1. Um, and I have this one, the one with the empty bottle, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, put that here. And then this one is um, going to be on the way from Miyokio eventually. Okay, now dream part two. So I have one today, the other one, again, from Neokyo. <laughs> so um, I haven't even submitted a packing request yet, so I don't know when those are going to be here. And then we have this dream part two for the wind version. This was wish, this is wind. Oh, there. Oh, I love these ones of him holding the flower. That's so cute. Okay, now we have both of his Polaroids from Dream Part 2. So, how do I, let's see, I keep thinking he's holding a red Solo cup, but it's really just, I think, I don't know, I think it's part of his sleeve, maybe? <laughs> But it looks like, I don't know, it just gives me vibes that he's like at a college house party <laughs> when he's, that's not even a red solo cup. All right, and then this is just going to have to be blank. I will do fillers later. So I have one of the limited cards from Dream Part 2. The other one um, is also a Mercari Japan purchase. So whenever that gets here then that will be completed. Um, and then I have the two Kinos as well, that's for the two uh, special cards. So yeah, they're just gonna share a page with the Dream Part 2 cards. Okay, rise up. I only have one so far. Uh, this was a trade that I did, but this is absolutely one of my favorite concepts, and I love how this looks like a little ticket. So, I'm so happy to have this. And then the rest will be coming from Miyokio as well. Okay, and then all lights. So this is going to be the green uh, version, and I have both of them here today. So, yes. I have to say that I think um, these MJ ones, like, well, I mean, this concept, MJ and this concept, that is what I'm trying to say. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but this is probably one of my favorite looks for him with this really pretty, longer, you know, blonde hair. Um, yeah, oh, it looks so good. Sadly, I haven't been a fan of uh, like his hair this era which makes me so sad but it's okay <laughs> all right um here's the white 
version. Let's see, well, how am I doing this? Am I doing, yeah, like that. <laughs> like how beautiful are these? Oh my gosh, I mean, all of them look good. Like, oh my God, Uno's <sighs> looks so, so good. Can't, I can't even wrap my head around. Okay, uh, Blue Flame, um, do I have? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? I'm looking right at it. <laughs> I have all of them. So we've got the story and the book versions. So put a story up here. And then a book. Yes. We have a little page here for Bin. Uh, I only have two of his cards from Blue Flame, so I'm just going to give them their own little space right here. Um, and then, you know, hopefully, hopefully we will start making more progress with him. I really, really, really want to. All right, we're about halfway, <laughs> halfway done uh, with all these. But okay, so I have, uh, two of his cards from One and Only, and the message card will be uh, on the way from Neokio as well. So, how do I want to do this? Maybe like this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hopefully the message card will fit in this. I actually, yikes, you know, the more I think about it, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if the message card is actually going to fit down there, but it's okay. All right, now we have Gateway, and I have the two remaining ones that I'm missing. So, how did I do this? Okay, we'll put that here, put that here. Okay. Um, yes, and then we have the Secret Uno and Bin page. I actually pulled all three of these. Uh, yeah, right? Yes, I pulled this, I pulled MJ's, and then I pulled all three of these myself. I wish I had filmed my reaction, but I was just really not feeling it. I was like, I'm just gonna unbox these off camera by myself, and bam, I pulled my full bias line. I should probably unbox stuff off camera more often. Okay, now, finally, we are in the all yours era. Oh gosh, we have a lot to put away, mainly because um, there's some pre-order benefits as well. But I have, let's see, the U version of MJ. Okay, and then I have me, both of them. Here they are, him and his denim look. Let's see, how am I doing this? Like that. Okay, and then that's completed. Uh, we have a pre-order benefit. So I think this is, yeah, this is the Tower Records. I'm just gonna put him here, I decided, because he's in the same outfit, so it looks a little bit more cohesive. And then I've got um, some empty pages here for some of his other pre-order benefits. So unfortunately, I am not gonna be able to tell you what stores these are from. <laughs> I know um, there's some from, I think, Dear My Muse and the Astro Cafe, um, as well as maybe Music Korea, I wanna say. Oh gosh, and maybe DMC as well. Yeah, I, I honestly cannot remember. Um, I joined so many goes, and I've got a whole list going on on my phone, but um, I can't remember <laughs> what they all look like, so it's okay. Um, we're just gonna, uh, these are brand new pockets that I just put in here, so they're a little bit stiffer. Kind of gotta wiggle everything in. I do have larger 
four pockets as well I can use that are by the Amifa brand that I got off of Neokio. Um, so if I ever decide, hey, I don't want to keep buying Japanese size uh, pockets anymore, or, or sleeves, I mean, then um, I can use the Amifa pockets and I can continue to use standard size dragon shields. So, but right now I'm actually really enjoying using these. I actually, yeah, really, really, really like the um, Japanese size dragon shields too. They just feel nice and compact. Okay. All right, so MJ's pre-orders are done. Um, I have no Uno to put in today, but I do have some on the way. All right, um, I have a bin card for the um, U version. So some of my favorite ones of his, with the stickers on his face. Um, I have a trade uh, coming from Canada. I had to write down like it's from Canada because it takes a while for it to arrive to me so that I don't, you know, freak out that, oh no, it's not here yet. Um, but here's um, the other one for the me version, right? Yes, you, me, us, yeah. Um, so there's those. Then I have some bin pre-orders too. So this is, I think, the with drama hollow, I want to say, because this is make star. Um, this is the with drama. So I'm going to put them both together. Cute. <laughs> and then I have just a couple more of his pre-orders too. So, yeah. I think this is the one from their uh, Astro Fan Cafe, I want to say. And this one is as well, I think. Okay, that's it for that. And then I have uh, MJ's message cards. So put him here. Message cards, again, it's just a really low priority for me, so I haven't really been focusing on getting them. Um, I think actually though I'm only missing one. I'm missing Uno's red card. So I need uh, Uno's red card. Um, oh, these were also from the uh, fan cafe. So I love this picture of Ben so much. Um, and I love that both of these kind of go together. We've got, you know, the uh, vertical and horizontal orientation. And then these are like little tickets and coasters and stickers as part of the event as well. Um, anyways, getting a little bit ahead of myself here. I actually have two more random cards here. I've got Onu as uh, the astronaut um, in their fan club um, cards. So I really like to get MJ and uh, Bins as well. For now though, we'll just put him here. I have this random uh, Jinjin clear card that came with this keychain as part of their, you know, the exhibition. Um, so I'll probably just keep him. I mean, I'm not going to probably actively trade him unless somebody wants to trade uh, for one of my biases, but yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like we did a lot. We had a ton of progress with Astro. I'm going to do a little flip through. So, wow. I'm so happy with the progress that I made and pretty much my MJ collection will be up to date by the time uh, my next Neokio order gets here. Um, and then after that, it'll just be some random stuff like pre-order benefits that I joined or goes for the pre-order benefits, I mean. So, yeah, this makes me very happy. And I have been loving using these mini binders. It's just something different and I always love trying new things. So um, I think going forward, I will probably utilize these more. I actually have another one of these here. So I'll probably do another setup at some point, maybe, maybe for bin, we'll see. <laughs> um, I also have another one that I decided to try from AliExpress. So that's coming as well. Anyways, so that is it for this entire video. Um, I hope that you enjoy these. I always like to, to film them, but I hope you have a good rest of your day and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.